Good day everybody, Jan Bauman here. Let's talk about how governments borrow money. Let's first of all talk about why governments need to borrow money. Well, if our government revenue, mainly from taxes, is let's say 3,000 billion, let's say billion dollars, and the government spends, government spending, is 4,000, let's say, we'll just make up some numbers, billion, then it spends $1,000 more, $1,000 billion more, than it has in income. So it's got to find that money somehow, because it's spending more than it's getting in tax revenue. So this 1,000 is the amount that the government has to borrow. Most governments borrow money by what's called issuing securities. In the United States, the actual government office that does the issuing is Treasury. They do the government's bookkeeping. They also are the bookkeeper, cut the checks for spending, eventually are responsible for receiving all the tax money and so forth. Nowadays, governments don't really issue physical certificates anymore. Most of it is done electronically. Securities are either bills, notes, or bonds, depending on when the government decides to pay back the people that uh, bought these securities. Bills are paid back uh, the quickest, anything less than one year. So, bills are securities with a maturity of less than one year, sometimes three months or nine months. Notes have a maturity of between five, uh, one and five years, so the government pays the people back between, uh, after between one and five years. And then bonds, <clears throat> bonds have the longest maturity, and they are more than five years or longer, usually ten years, and many government bonds have a maturity of thirty years. The interest rate on bills is usually the lowest because it's the least risky since the people get paid back uh, the quickest. And then the interest rate on the notes are in between the bills and the bonds. The bonds usually have the highest, uh, carry the highest amount of risk because it takes so long for the government to, uh, to pay them back and you never know what, uh, what the economic conditions are in 5, 10, 30 years. So bonds carry the highest interest rate. Interest rates are also determined by the market. If the, in the market the interest rates tend to be relatively high, then the interest rate on all three of these securities is higher. Some countries have, issue bonds, for example, uh, Greece issues bonds uh, that carry a very high interest rate because Greece recently defaulted and people don't feel completely safe buying Greek bonds. They're not exactly sure if they're going to get their money back. So interest rates are also determined by the safety of the, uh, the government bonds. Who buys government bonds? Well, pretty much anyone can buy government bonds. It's uh, really just an investment, just like buying stocks uh, or corporate bonds or any other investment. And the uh, United States government uh, securities are bought by people from our own country, individual investors, people that want that that want to have that kind of investment in their pension fund, insurance companies, and uh, any other kind of uh, company. Also, United States uh, securities are bought by other countries. It could be governments or individual investors in those other countries. China currently owns uh, quite a bit of our total debt. In other words, they own a lot of these uh, government securities. Uh, Japan, United Kingdom, and various other countries currently own bonds. They uh, will, again, they will get paid after the security matures and they earn interest on the securities, so usually paid every six months. There is also a very active market in bonds, corporate bonds or government bonds in this case. And so if you do own a bond, you don't have to hold on to it until it matures. You can pretty much sell it at any time. Generally, if market interest rates rise, then the price of the, the bond that you, and then the, uh, the interest on the bond is, uh, is fixed at the time that you bought it. 
so that the price of the bond that you're holding currently uh, will go down if market interest rates rise. So there's an inverse relationship between interest rates <coughs> and prices of government bonds. Uh, by the way, I neglected to mention that uh, in the United States, the Federal Reserve also owns quite a few bonds. The Federal Reserve does this in order to uh, stimulate the economy, in order to increase the money supply. And we're going to talk about that in uh, the next unit, Unit 9.